Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about the Pythagorean triples. So this one is part of our series about the Pythagorean theorem, but I hope you can watch the video about the Pythagorean theorem before diving into this topic. You can see the link here in our description box, or you can also see the link data or here. So I hope you can watch that before diving into this topic. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So before we start, uh, let us have a review about the Pythagorean Theorem. This formula, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, states that, or it, this formula embodies the Pythagorean Theorem itself. It states here that the square of the legs the square of the length of the legs, a squared plus b squared, is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, which is the longest side. So imagine that this one is your right triangle, and this is your side A, side B, and side C. And right here, in our whiteboard, we have here 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, 8, 15, 17. They are not just numbers. These are called Pythagorean triples. These three sets of Pythagorean triples are the most commonly used Pythagorean triples in mathematics. So, sir, what is the purpose of knowing this kind of topic or this kind of um, lesson? Uh, if you know the Pythagorean triples, it can save you in solving or in consuming your time, lalo na if you're taking up an examination. So, diba? imagine if you're solving for a Pythagorean, Pythagorean problem, it will take you 3 to 5 minutes. But if you know the Pythagorean triples, it will save you your time. Now, let us prove that this 3 can satisfy this equation. But uh, for us not to take this video too long, uh, we will just try or check whether 3, 4, 5 are examples of Pythagorean triples. So, let's say, for example, this is your A your B, and your C. So substituting these values to your formula, you have here, you have here, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. And the value of A is 3. So we can substitute that 3 squared plus your B, which is 4. 4 squared is equal to your C, which is 5. So that is 5 squared. And simplifying this equation, this will give you 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. And as you can see, 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. And then they are equal. Meaning, these numbers are Pythagorean triples. So, sir, how can we use that in saving time with our problems? Or in solving Pythagorean theorem problems. So right here, I have here these two triangles. So as you can see, uh, this right triangle, uh, one of the legs measures 6 units, while the hypotenuse measures 10 units, and the missing one is the, uh, the length of the other side, or the other leg. Now, instead of using this formula, if you know the Pythagorean triples, again, uh, I'm not... Um, I'm not stopping you to use this Pythagorean theorem formula. I'm just asking or I'm just recommending that you can use the, the knowledge about the Pythagorean triples to save your time in solving math problems. Lalo na na kung kaya yung take ng exam. So we have here um, 6 as your leg and 10 as your hypotenuse. And the missing one is your is your uh, the length of your the length of the other leg. So if you know this, as you can see, um, 10 and 6 can be divided by 2. So it will give you 5 and 3. So as you can see, we have here this pattern, 3, 4, 5. So we have here the 3 and we have here the 5. Okay? So as you can see, we only multiplied 5 by 2 to make it 10. We only multiply 3 by 2 to make it 6. 
And now, the missing leg is 4. So multiply 4 by 2, that will give you 8. Meaning, the length of these right triangles are 6, 8, and 10 without using the Pythagorean formula. Okay? So let's move on with item number 2 as our last example. We have here one of the legs measures 50, 50 units and the other or your hypotenuse measures 130 units. So if you know the Pythagorean triple, so as you can see, uh, these two numbers ends with 0. So we can eliminate 0. And we have 5 and 13. So we have 5 and 13. So going to that Pythagorean triples, if you know this, or if you memorize this Pythagorean triples, as you can see, we have 5 and 13. So we still have 2. Now, we have here 5 and 13. Look at the pattern. You have here 5. To make it 50, you need to multiply 5 by 10. Again, you need to multiply 5 by 10. So to make it 50. For 13, you, may, you need to make you need to multiply it by 10 to make it 130. So look at the pattern. You have 5, 12, 13. So the missing side here, or the length of this side, is 120. Sir, how? Simply multiply 12 by 10. So you can make this a Pythagorean triple. So I hope you learned something from this from this video on how to use the Pythagorean triples because this one is such an important topic that you that you need to to study and memorize. So again, if you have any question about this topic or if you have any uh, suggested topic that you want me to discuss within our channel, you can comment down below so I can do that video for you. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!